Hi, I'm Bob Sizer from Roosevelt University, and I'm happy to give you a brief uh, walkthrough of my virtual poster, which describes uh, my experiences uh, developing and teaching a course in fermentation science during the fall 2019 semester. This was a course that I had thought about uh, for some years, uh, and at first I'd uh, gotten suggestions from people and I thought maybe I would do it as a course that was kind of focused on the science of, of brewing or winemaking. Um, um, I have seen courses of this of this type before as part of larger programs or standalone and um, thought that might be interesting to do. But the more I thought about it, uh, the more I uh, thought that we could do more with a broader look at fermentation because fermentation products are so widespread and so um, widely used that uh, we would always have something new to, to draw on. So even if someone didn't have a specific interest in brewing or winemaking, uh, that they would certainly uh, want to know more about fermentation. So that's what I decided to do and I'm, I'm glad I, I did. Uh, I taught this course uh, as uh, once, once per week um, at the advanced undergraduate and master's level uh, did not require prior microbiology experience, but it was helpful for some of the students who had it. Um, those students uh, tended to be in our uh, pre-health professions, uh, biology and biotechnology majors and programs. Uh, and in addition to our weekly meetings where we had a mix of lecture, discussion, case studies, explorations. Uh, we also had a few field trips, uh, one of which was to a, a brewery and another to a winery. So those were still um, big parts of the course and things that students uh, enjoyed. Uh, so when we, uh, when I put together the course, I, I, as I said, I wanted to take kind of a broad look at what, what fermentation is and, and go beyond the, the narrow uh, definition of, of what, it, uh, what it was as a biochemical process. So in the course, we looked at fermentation as a hallmark of, of human civilization, a cultural practice, uh, the pun intended, of course, uh, a means of scientific discovery, an art and craft form, and a major commercial industry. So I wanted to do things that both, uh, that, that examined fermentation from a variety of different angles and perspectives. So some of the things that we talked about in the course included these, these four um, main topics. Uh, first, the underlying science of myriad uh, fermented uh, foods, uh, including, um, uh, including uh, uh, beverages, um, you know, the sauerkrauts and the yogurts and kimchi and all those sorts of things uh, that one might find in the standard you know, American grocery store or in, um, uh, on the you know, tables um, all, around, all around the world. Uh, we also looked at agricultural products, pharmaceuticals, all types of fermentation products. We uh, talked about how those fermented products are made, both at small scale, you know, in someone's kitchen, and going all the way up to industrial levels, large scale, um, large scale production. We looked at the history of, of the ferment uh, for each one that we, that we examined, uh, where it was first produced and by whom, who eats, drinks, or consumes it now, and for what reasons. And we tried to look ahead to the future to see what advances in uh, engineering, biotechnology, uh, are going to pretend for the, the, the future of, of fermentation. And then the fourth uh, thing that we discussed, and again, this was something I tried to weave through the whole class, was um, the personal connections that we have to fermentation uh, through family traditions, through the cultural associations, like, oh, this is something that, 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 that we eat in, you know, in, in, in my culture, in the place that I come from, uh, and, and personal dietary habits. So that allowed us to talk about the kombucha craze and um, uh, things that you know, all of a sudden would show up seemingly out of nowhere and everybody would be interested in, in drinking them. So uh, we had a lot to talk about. It was really lots of fun. Um, and to organize students' thoughts and get them to, to, to uh, 
take this comprehensive look at the topic, I had them do three projects throughout the semester. Uh, the first was to choose a fermented food or beverage or a related group of such items and discover the science and history behind it. So this was kind of a literature-based project, but uh, they could write a paper, they could uh, come up with a, a, a wakelet or sort of a curated uh, digital um, repository. For the second project, they chose an industrial fermentation process and prepare a creative work that described it. So again, they could write a paper, do a digital repository or a video or something like that, where they talked about industrial scale fermentation, because then that had them looking at the, at the technology of it. It had them look at how these processes work at, at larger scales. And then the third project, which for many was the most, um, the most fun and most rewarding, was to actually prepare a homemade uh, edible ferment. So they shared their experience and the products of their microbial friends' good work in an interactive show and tell. So on the right side of the uh, poster, I have a few um, examples of the things that students included in their, uh, in their, their projects. Uh, we had a lot of people making their own kimchi and sauerkraut and tempeh, and um, a, a few did do beer or wine. Uh, and to the extent that they, that they could and things worked out, uh, which they usually did, uh, they brought them in and shared them with, um, with the class. Uh, some students worked in the lab or did their, uh, or uh, set up their own labs at home in order to do things like testing pH uh, and um, humidity and uh, kept a very close check on their culture conditions. Uh, everybody really appreciated doing it hands-on and a lot of the students actually got their own families to, uh, to, to help out. They learned a recipe from somebody in their family and then they, then they learned how to do it themselves. Uh, so it was a really rewarding experience and uh, a lot of fun for them to learn the science and the application. Uh, and the bottom of the slide here, I just have a few of the references and resources that really helped me out as I designed this, this class. Um, this, uh, one of the, the biggest ones was uh, Sander Alex's Cats, is the, the uh, Art of Fermentation uh, book from 2012. I've got a figure from that here on the upper left of the slide. Uh, and then the others are, are uh, really good uh, technical uh, references that also include information on the, on the historical practices and uh, cultural basis of, of fermentation uh, around the world. So these were really, um, really very useful for me to bring, to bring the science and, and the culture together. All right. Thanks very much for your, uh, for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to find out more about the class, I'd be happy to talk with you. Uh, just send me an email, which is up at the top of the poster. Uh, and again, thanks very much.